Ooh. Hey, Ara. Where's the now? It went to the car to get something. Okay. Uh, so have you have you checked the kitchen? Uh, got some delicious food in the kitchen. Um, Jalov, uh, Afang. I know you love Afang. What do I make for you? So you mean Uzo will not be joining us again today? Ada. Is that what you are saying? Hey, just uh, can we talk about that later? Let's eat first, all right? We got food. My wife will be here soon, okay? Just calm down. Let me make something for you. Um, I know you like Afang. Afang for you. Ah, uh, all right. I will ask Ugo. Well, let me get Afang for you. Come in. Ada. What happened? Is this how Uzo comes on late? No. Really? She just got caught up with uh, something at work, that's all. Mm. Mm hmm. She'll be home soon. Hmm. my office now. <sighs> Mom? It's full of typos. Oh, okay. I'll correct it after your edit, Mom. <sighs> Amaka, how long have you been working with us now? 17 months, ma'am. 17 months. But yet you can't write a simple press release. And I have to keep looking over my shoulder at your work. Do you know how long it took me to get the Seacrest Energy account? Eight months. Eight months of going back and forth. So you see this launch? It has to be fucking perfect. No typos, no mistakes. Get a revised version to the pressman by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Otherwise, don't bother coming in. Yes, 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 ma'am. I know I fucked up. Okay, talk. My phone was on DND during the secret meeting, and I forgot to take it off after. Baby, I completely forgot. I'm so. I called you over twenty times, twenty freaking times. I know, I know. 
I didn't hear it. It was on silent. Yeah. You forgot you have a life outside of your office, as always. Do you know how many times I had to ignore questions from my sister and her husband asking me about why my wife <sighs> is at home at 9 o'clock? Well, all of us cannot be born rich kids. Some of us have responsibilities. Something ridiculous. I know you had to have your issues, but I asked you, I asked you about this. <sighs> and you promised me that you were going to be home. You were going to come here Baby, on time. I forgot. I forgot. And I've apologized already now. I completely lost track of time. I'm sorry. Hmm? No, please forgive me now. Hmm? Let me make it up to you at least. No, I'm fine. It's okay. Baby, let me take you upstairs and rub you down. That dinner cannot have been easy. It's your sister, I know. Hmm? I'll touch you where you like. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Come on. Hmm? Okay, okay. Let me make it up to you at least now. Stop. Hmm? Babe. Come. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a nice massage. No, this no massage. Special one that you I like. Special you do, you will enjoy it. Ah, oh, no, I have your time. No, I don't. Babe! Please, no. Let's go. Come, I'll make it up to you. I don't want any massage. I said so, just shh, shh, shh. You okay. seem not to understand what I'm even talking about in the first place. <clears throat> Everything looks fine with both of you. Hmm? If everything is fine, then... Why my wife is not pregnant? Okay. So let me explain. There are several things that cause delayed conception in marriage. And you're just you just started trying over a year. Sometimes it takes longer than that, you know. So um what exactly does the test results say or show? The result here shows a very high level of cortisol, which is also known as um, a stress hormone. Um, let me ask you, mom. Do you experience a um, high level of stress, maybe at work or at home or anywhere? Yes, doctor. My wife's job is quite demanding. Um, we need to work out a new um, strategy for managing that stress. And then um, I believe she needs a new di um, dietary plan. You need to change nutrition. So um, I'm going to refer you to a nutritionist who is going to attend to you. And then I also want to advise. Maybe you take some time off work. Go to a quiet place, a resort or anywhere and manage your stress. You need to rest, even if it's for just a few days. It is highly recommended. We will do that. Yes. Doctor, I assure you, thank you very much. All right, so. Stressing. I still cannot believe you went to work even after what the doctor said. And so did you. But I'm not the one who's too stressed to get pregnant. That's not fair. That is really unfair. I have spent seven long years working my way up strategically towards becoming partner. And now I'm this close. I can't sacrifice or, or, or throw it away for... For what, your family? Your own family? Our family? Don't do that. It's not like that. I, I have a responsibility to my family too. My sister is still in school. Is the family you come from more important than our family? The family we are trying to build? It's not you have done enough for them already. <sighs> It's not like that. It's not just like that. Just think, think about how proud my father would be if I'm able to make partner. All that yeah. training. 
Not in oh, vain. I know he will be prouder that you, if you, if you, if you build uh, uh, you, you, your family house, or, or, or you, 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 you give your brother money to set up a business, or renovate your family home, or give more money to your sister, or that uncle, or this auntie, or that person. When is it going to end? It ends when you stop stressing me. Sorry for some of the things I've said to you. I, it's just hard. You know, it's just hard. I, I don't know what to do. It's hard. You don't understand. My family is not like yours. There was nobody around to, to pack money for a fancy degree. Every dime spent on training me. My family had to sacrifice something. You of all people I thought would understand this. Don't worry. It's high time you saw Pastor Nusu for prayers. Mm. No, thank you, Mama. You know, my husband doesn't believe in those kind of things and seeing people for prayers, so that won't work. They come home for a visit. You and I can go see the good pastor without him. Ah. Mommy, I cannot just get up and say I'm going to Badagri. Why not? Ah. Mom, I have work. And Nant. Oh, really? What did he say? Mama, Namdi and I went to see a doctor. And um, the doctor said we're fine. Yes, he said I'm perfectly fine. He said he's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with us. So if the doctor said you are fine, then what is keeping you from getting pregnant? This is why I'm suggesting you see a pastor. He said something about stress and how being stressed out can make things difficult. Stress is actually the reason. So are you stressed? Mommy, I won't even lie. Like, you know me already. Ever since I've been little, I, I set my task and I, I want to achieve them. Nothing would mean more to me than to be able to do that. So if, if small stress happens now, it's okay. The king can't wait. Are you still come home and do your duties? Isn't that too much stress already? You should get a maid. <laughs> maid care. Mommy, I don't like any strangers in my house, please. But why not? At least she will help relieve you of some stress. Your sister has been home for months now because of the strike. Is your ma? You mean the strike is still on, mommy? Yes, so. She has been learning one or two things while at home. But she can join you on the island, pending when the strike is over. So, mommy, you want to relieve me of my own stress? By adding to your own. She isn't doing anything for me here. So you can have her. I'm going to inform her so she can prepare. I'm sure she will like the idea of that. Okay, mommy. No problem. You win. You win, mommy. All right. I'll also have a conversation with her. Maybe talk to her about one or two things that she can do while she's here. Meanwhile, ask your work people for a leave and take a trip down to the peaceful place like the daughter advised. I'll talk to Nam about Sisyoma coming to the house, mommy. Huh? One thing first. <sighs> Isyoma! Yes, sister. Okay, darling, I'll be in the car. Okay. Ah, thank you. Isyama, I have a list of errands I need you to run. I'm going to text them to your phone. Okay. I'll also be transferring you the funds for that. Okay, mm? okay. try and do it on time, please. <laughs> 
Okay, sister. Sister, my friend wants Please, to... Please, on now. I'm running late. We'll talk about it when I come back, I promise. <laughs> Really good, delicious. I loved it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you see. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, sister, about what I wanted to tell you. Mm, what about it? Yeah, uh, one of my friends back there in school actually wants to launch a fashion brand. Yeah. Um, fantastic. He wants to launch his own uh, fashion brand. That's great. I mean, it's really beautiful to see young people thriving despite everything happening in the country. I'm proud of him. Tell him he has a fan in me. Thank you. <laughs> so, sister, he's doing a photo shoot tomorrow and he wants me to model some of his clothes. This is so weird. Sis? Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, sorry. Which photo shoot again? So it's, it's for my friend Justin. He wants to do a photo shoot today and they want me to model some clothes. Is your man, when did you arrive on this island that you are going to do modeling for somebody? Have you not heard the dirty stories about those, that industry in particular? Sis, it's just for a friend. <sighs> My dear, you came here to help me. Not to be gallivanting everywhere. I'm posing for camera. Sis, I told you now. No, was... you did not. I don't know anything about that. Yes, yeah, she actually did, darling. Yesterday at dinner, she mentioned. But I guess you were busy, you didn't listen to her. And if it's going to be for a few hours, I think she should. She go. It's not a big deal. Thank you. Baby. <laughs> um, Isyoma is young. And she's a bit naive. I don't want anyone taking advantage of her. You saw those recent stories about photographers now. Yeah. Is he? Your sister is actually right. You need to give us details of the person you're going to see, that friend you're talking about. Okay. And I will have the driver drop you after he takes me to work, just to make sure you're safe. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> make sure my clothes are back from the dry cleaners before I'm back. Okay, sis. No problem. Yes, ma'am. Shall we? Of course. Should I tell her you're interested? I mean, from the look of things, I can see she really wants to work with you. Uh, you know, I can't say yes till I talk to my sister. Is she really stopping you? Oh. Look, Isyama, this is an avenue for you to make cool cash whilst this strike of a thing persists. I know, right? Or you just want to stay at home and take a sister thank you. Think about it. My dear, that's not what my sister thinks so. She just want me to stay at home, clean, run errands, enslave myself. Like, in her own words, guess what? She said, who do you know on the island? Do you know what happens in the industry? This, God, like, it was so annoying. <laughs> Jesus. I know, I understand. She's trying to be protective of her little baby sister. Oh, like I'm not grown enough, uh -huh. please. You think so? I am, I know. Is that your sister's husband? Yeah. Oh, he looks really handsome. I know. Well, I'm not surprised. See, you both have eyes for good looking men, hence you came for me. <laughs> God have mercy. So if they say handsome men now to come outside, you yourself will come out, Abby. Uh-uh. In your mind, in your tiny mind, you think you're fine. 
<laughs> but you know I'm Please. not even lying. Do you know who you're talking to? You do yeah. lack fineness, so. <laughs> but you also know on the other hand that if I wasn't attractive, you wouldn't have chosen me as your friend. But, bro, really, <laughs> you walk up to me. Mm -hmm. And I looked at you, I said, you know what? Let me just give this guy a chance. Help his ministry. I'm doing you a big favor. You're yeah, doing me what? Yes. Do me a favor. I uh know. -huh, <laughs> <laughs> Please. I sure know that if I wasn't this attractive, you wouldn't have chosen me as your friend. True or true? Hey, you have a point. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not my head, if you're not fine now, hey, but you're fine small. Small, small. Mm hmm But let me tell you something. You're not my spec. Up. When are you going to bed? Soon. I just want to finish all these slides. We have a management meeting tomorrow mm. on the Seacrest account launch, so mm. gotta get it right. It's almost midnight. What I think is you should come to bed, get some rest. You can wake up early and do this when you get to the office early. Baby, I will be stressed, I'll be worrying, and I won't sleep. And you know, I'm not supposed to be stressing. Okay. Mm hmm All right. Whatever you say. No problem. I'll, I'll come upstairs soon. Okay. All right. I'm going to bed, okay? Mm. Good night, darling. All right, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
So please sit. Please sit. Um, Uzo, I must really commend your resilience. You did amazing with the Seacross deal. The board is very impressed. Thank you. Um, I'm really glad to hear that the board liked it. Yes, as you know, Mr. Tijani would be retiring soon. And yes. we would need a replacement to fill in for the position. Okay. Well, it's entirely up to the board of directors to decide, but um, I need you to know that your record is really high. Although there are contenders who are contending for the same position. But do not lose focus. Okay? Yes, ma'am. We have just one more client to win over. Just one more deal to scale. So do not lose focus. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm ready for any task, ma'am. Great, great. Thank you, ma'am. Be ready, Uzo. Yes, be ready. Of course. Okay. What's happening here? I mean, it's good, but it's bad, but it's... I just have so much to do. Hold on. Come in! Yes, babe, so what I'm saying is... The package is here for you, ma'am. Sign it and bring it here, please. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. I mean, it's good, it's great. Like, I've always wanted to be part now, but right now... To add it to everything that is already on my table. Just on you. Thank you. <sighs> my darling. Ah, you think you're so sharp. This is so sweet of you, honestly. I just want you to be happy. Baby, I love you. Hmm? I love you so much. I love you too. You always know exactly what to do. Always. See, did you do the dishes? I will when I'm done before I, I go to bed. I don't like dirty dishes in my sink, oh. Yes, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> what is it? Sis, I got a new gig today. A stylist called and want me to model for her. But she'll be paying 20k. And you want to do it? Because of 20k. <laughs> Don't I give you more than that? Monthly? You do. And I really appreciate it. But I want to earn some money for myself. 
Yes, your mind, you will. That time will come when you graduate. <laughs> if I graduate. If, care. But the way the strike is going, it might actually extend to a year. And all my friends are actually doing something worthwhile. And they're making money off it. I'm trying to understand whether it's that you're naive or just extremely ungrateful. I, I, I don't understand. You live in a big, fine house in Lagos. You eat for free. There is constant electricity. You take Uber everywhere. And I give you 50,000 Naira monthly. So I really don't understand why you want to be stressing me instead. Sis, I appreciate all those things. Like, I really do. But seriously now, it's unfair. Like, you go to work every day with brother and I'm alone in the house doing nothing. All I do is run to the market, run errands, clean the house like a maid. I really want to do something. Isioma, you will not be going to any stylist. And that is that. Plates. Sis. They quit soon. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Smile. Again. You want to understand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who are you? And uh, uh, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> it's your ma. Wow. What's the meaning of all of this now? Everywhere is scattered. My friends. My, my, my canvas that they charged me two million naira for on the table. My Italian furniture, what? You see, man, what's the meaning of all of They are still standing here. Truth be told, that was totally uncalled for. I mean, she just brought a friend to the house to do a photo shoot. You don't let her go out. She's 19. And she's already bringing men into this house. Oh, come on. She's not bringing men into the house. She just brought her friend, her friend, and they were doing nothing. I'm sure you were doing worse at, at 19. Isyama is here to relieve me of stress, not add more to my stress. Yeah, baby, be truthful. She's not adding to your stress. She's been so helpful. You have had much time on your hands since she got here. I think, um... I'd rather you just stay out of this. Hmm? Yeah. I'll stay out of it. But I promise you I'm not going to fold my arms and watch you maltreat your sister. I promised your dad I was going to help take care of her. I hope you remembered uh, business dinner with uh, Chief and Mrs. E.B. It's on Saturday at Ada's house. Yes. Are you still coming? I even bought a new dress for it, don't worry. All right, that's great. Just want to make sure that you won't have any last minute work emergency, that's all. I have a management meeting that day at 12, yes, but I should be done after. I even forgot to mention, the company is looking at me to fill that partner position. That's great. That's really great. Yes, my boss is very heavy on that. There's one more client to bring in. I might be able to cement that. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. Yeah. That's good. Congratulations. Thank you, babe.
Hello? Where have you been? I've been calling you ever since. Sorry, I'm just rounding up with a management meeting. What's up? I'm getting dressed. Where are you? Uh, baby, I know you won't like to hear this, but I might be here just a little bit longer. How long is this going to take? should have told me about this earlier. should have told me about this earlier. I don't like how you do things sometimes. Chief Ibi and his wife, they're gonna be there. Ada and Ugo will be there also. Why do I have to be the odd one? I don't know, I'm, I'm still trying to speak with him. I should have known, something always comes up when it comes to you. It's not that way, no. What if, what if I finish really quick and Isioma. What of Isioma? She can be your plus one. She can wear one of my dresses. What are you talking about? Isioma is your little sister. You can't expect her to be my date. Yes, and she's your sister too, right? Yes, that can work. Now, the good thing is, Isioma has got this thing called um, Iron Dodo. Big man! <laughs> welcome, welcome, Wilson. Good evening. Good evening, Chief. Very well. Nice to see you. Good evening, sir. Oh, you're welcome. Why the face? Good evening, sir. Thank you. Who's Omar? Oh, is probably, oh, so nice, probably trying to convert a lead. Really? Oh. You've met Isoma, right? Good evening, ma. Okay, Kwan. Adam, ma. You look so much like your sister. But the difference is clear. What's up? I'm not happy. Oh, you better be. Wait it's time to have a good time. <laughs> Stop worrying about my wife. Um, is he? I think it's time to get a drink. And so, what we are proposing for your new account to make sure everything. Ma, is uh, where is Mr. Jonathan? Is he ready for me to speak with him now? No, he's gone already. He was in a bit of a hurry. I think he's going to Abuja. Abuja is what he mentioned. Yes. <laughs> but um, I have been here waiting, um, and I have a lot of beautiful ideas and I've put together a presentation that I'm sure that he would like and would bring him on board. But it's nothing to worry about. He has sent an invite. Okay. He says he's going to Abuja and he won't be coming back anytime soon. Wow. So I think I'm gonna have to send you to Abuja for an urgent meeting. Abuja, ma'am? Yes. We need to get Jonathan and his team on our side. <sighs> and you're the only one who I think can pull this off. Um, Uzoma, it is something I believe you can do. But it's okay if you think you will not be able to... Oh no, of course, Ma, I'm up to the task. I will meet him in Abuja. Great. Thank you.
Wow. I didn't know you could dance like this. I love dancing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You dance well. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Baby, the car that's taking me to the airport is close by. As soon as I'm done with meeting that man, I'll be on the next flight back, I promise. Please, no, no. Hmm? Huh? I don't want to leave the house with you in this mood, no. You know how important this is to me. I wish you all the best. I love you. I'm so sorry. I uh, I didn't know you were naked. I I wanted to ask you about milk. Um, look, I'm sorry. Is sister on her way? I tried calling her, but she's not picking. She's gonna be coming late. I'm so hungry. I can't even wait for her. Enjoy your meal. Now, what about you? Are you not eating? Uh, I think I'll have to wait for her. Wait for her? Yes. If I were you, I'll get my food and come and eat. Okay then. Yeah, do that. Don't know when she's coming home tonight. Mm. This is so good. Yes. The meeting went very, very well. That's great. Ah, Nam, are you still angry about something? I'm not angry. I'm just thinking this or wondering. Ah. About what? about when you will finally want us to start a family. It's been three years of marriage. Three whole years. You said you wanted to wait until after two years before we start a family. Now it's over three years and you still haven't decided yet. I'm still waiting. I want to start a family. I want, I want a child. Uh, babe. <laughs> We have talked about this already now. I don't see why I should have to be compromising. Like 
like I'm literally this close, just this close to becoming a partner and everything will be fine after that. Yeah, so work comes before family. Stop saying that, that's not what I mean. <laughs> that's not what you mean. Look, honey, I am the only boy of my family. It's my duty to carry on the family's name. It's my responsibility. Baby. Look, all I'm saying, eh? all I'm pleading with you for is just a little bit more time and some patience. I promise once I become partner, everything will fall in and I'll be able to pick my free time and we can work on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's okay. I just want to take a walk and clear my head. I'll be back. Honestly, this guy is so sweet. Can you believe he got me a content creator job with one of the sister's friends? Really? Yeah. And your sister allowed you to take the job? Yeah, it's actually a remote job and it's for a big core brand. So all I have to do is to create a UGC video and I get paid for each video I make. Oh, wow, that's really beautiful. I know, right? Yeah, but I mean, though, it's really thoughtful of you. It's yeah. nice. I know, but sometimes... I just wish... Hmm. Hmm. Don't even allow your sister to hear this nonsense you're about to spill. It's really not going to be funny. That's her business, so Because if she does not appreciate what she has, that's you, her business. You should appreciate what you have. Okay, by the way, mm -hmm. how was the game? Mm -hmm. It was really nice. I know. Uh, you really need to join me the next one. Yeah, right. So we'll do it together. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, you have somewhere to go to? Oh, you're bored of me already. You really want me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm already cooking, so... Would you want to eat? What are you cooking? Guess. Rice? Fried rice. Ah, no. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. I'm interested. Yay. Yeah. Okay. I think about I need to get going. You know. Why now? I'll be oh, bored. Everything. Oh. Please stay. Okay, just dress up now so we can go out or so. <laughs> what do you think? Do you know my sister? I can't leave the house. Damn. It's really crazy. I know. But well, I want to go to the shopping mall. Will you come with me? Uh, what time? Uh, six. No. I have a whole lot to do. By the way, you don't even fancy me, so why should I? Anyways, it's no. fine, I will. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so you get dressed up now. I hope you know drinking yourself to stupor is not a solution in MD. What do you want me to do? Now tell me, what do you want me to do? I've pleaded, I've, I've talked about this. Mm. I even offered to pay her a salary. Yes, she wouldn't listen to me. You know, in MD, most times I wonder where your balls are. For God's sake, you are the head of the family and your wife should listen to you, not the other way around. You don't understand. Uzoma is stubborn. Then do anything to make her submit. Come on. Wait. I hope she's not having an extramarital affair. What? 
Uzama would never do a thing like that. She would never betray me like that. The problem is she's, she's just too obsessed mm. with becoming a partner. Really? That's, that, that's it. Yeah, she, she, she doesn't understand. I, I need to make her to understand. Having a child, having a baby, is just as important as her being a partner. Hmm. Well, good luck with that. But if you ask me, Inandi, I don't think this is a time for convincing. You need to let her know that you are serious. Please. If this is your idea of a joke, I'm not finding it funny, Namdi. I'm not joking, Uzuma. I am not joking. I want a child. And since you're too obsessed with your work, I suggest we find other options. Okay, but surrogacy... You leave me with no choice. I don't want a surrogate, but I need a baby. You're too busy with your work. Your work is so important to you. So if you can't, then I will tell Ada to go ahead and find us a surrogate. This was her idea, wasn't it? This was what? your sister's idea. Hey, like I always knew that she was, she was a bitch, but to actually try and go out of your way to sabotage my house. Ah. Don't you dare speak of my sister like that. Oh, what? Don't you dare do She's it. She's a devil. You want to slap me? You want to beat me for her? But I the devil. Hey. You're forgetting who is the devil in this room. You are your own devil. You're the one destroying your own home. You're the one who you don't care about your family. You don't care about even building a family. You're talking about that. Uh, it's not Ada. You are your own problem. All you do is think about your work. That's all that matters to you. You're selfish, you're stubborn. You are selfish. How can you want me to sacrifice everything I've worked for? Look, I didn't grow up and get an inheritance, okay? You did! Yes. Everything I have in this life, I toiled for. Yeah. So, don't, don't, don't do that. You are not being fair. Yes, I have an inheritance. But yet and so, I work every day to keep my inheritance. To make sure that we grow. That's what I do. Yet and so, I know the difference between your family and work. And I prioritize my family. I prioritize you. But you don't. Because your work is, is everything to you. You're so obsessed with your work. I think you should just go ahead and get married to your job. Sign a contract with your job. Come in. Brother, I'm here to tell you that food is ready. Where is your sister? Uh, she stepped out. She's near your back. Okay. I'm not hungry. Hey, brother. I'm sorry. I hope you're not angry about what sister said earlier. No, I'm fine. I'm just not hungry, that's all. Hey, Mbano, I'm so sorry. Oh, I know my sister can be very temperamental. Please forgive her. Try and eat something. Oh, because I made your favorite soup. Oh, you see a neighbor. Okay. Um, thank you for the food. I appreciate it, and thank you for your concern, okay? You're welcome. I'll come down, so to join okay. you to eat. Okay. See you soon. All right. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, EC. And you know what we do here. We talk about lifestyle, makeup, outfits. And if you're new here, kindly subscribe. 
like and comment and first thing i'll be teaching you how to do a clean bit okay with just five makeup products next you need a clean face And next, we'll be applying our moisturizer. Also, we're doing. Oh, shit! Oh, let me help you. Oh, stop. Hey, hey, it's okay. Oh, Thanks. sorry for the interruption. Um, I will sit right here just. Just line the products the way you want them to be arranged, and then I'll just give them to you. Thank All you. Right? Yeah. Which one is first? I'll, How do you want it to be? I'll be using this one first, yeah. then this next. What's the next? This one. What's the next? And yeah, I'll apply this one. You have this one? Yes. What about this? Okay. This one. Okay. All right. Yes. Cool. And this is. Perfect. I'll just give them to you. Uh, all right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right. You're good to go. Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Isi. You know what we do here? We talk about fashion, we talk about makeup and everything glam. Guy, let me just see what happened today. Mm -hmm. You know that gig I got now? Yeah. I made a content for it today. Ah, it was so stressful. Yeah, what? Yeah. Guess what? I got a little help. Did I say little? It was massive. Mm -hmm. My sister's husband helped me out. He did? Yeah. Wait, why is he home? He's supposed to be at work. Mm, he actually took two weeks off work so he could rest and he has been home since. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Well, even at that, what did you do in particular that is making you praise him that much? Okay, so when I started the video, it was so chaotic. I needed so much help. And guess what? He walked in and he helped me out. God, that guy is so good, Justin. Hold on. So, honestly, I see myself daydreaming about him and I forget that he's married to my sister. Girl, wake up. That is your sister's husband. I know. But the feelings are getting deeper and deeper every time. And even though my sister doesn't even appreciate him. Isi, you seriously have to stop this nonsense crush of a thing you're having. It's becoming too serious. Stop it. I will try. I will try. I'm not promising. I'm, I really like him. You really have to stop. <laughs> Isi, the soup! It's almost ready. I'm sorry, sister. I wanted to clean. We're always making excuses for your nonsense behavior in this house now. Oh. I'm sorry. What's the matter? <coughs> what happened? <coughs> she burnt another pot of soup. Again. And I intended to serve this to our guest. It's okay, honey. It's okay. <coughs> Fine. Just uh, let her make a new pot of soup. That's all. All right? It's okay, baby. All right, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, <coughs> go to the market. You are only fresh ingredients, and we'll have to make this pot again. But well, I'm still cleaning the living room. Hey, hey, your sister will take care of it. Just go and get dressed. Uh, I'm going to the barber shop. I'll drop you on the way. Come on, go and get dressed. Okay. <coughs> Honey, uh, 
Schatz. dropping me off, babe. You are so welcome. There we are. <sighs> okay. Ho, ho, careful. Yeah. Let's see. You. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Babe, I know the last few months have been a bit rocky, but that all ends today. Okay. Nice to see you. And darling, I um, want you to know I love you so much. And I want you to have all your heart desires. Thank you. I want you to succeed at everything you do. Thank you. With us. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Thank you, love. Right, see you later. See you later. Have a beautiful day. Yes. You had to see cool. me? Okay. Show them left to my office. You sure, ma? I still have a little bit more time to have fun. To the latest partner in town. Cheers. Cheers. But baby, I couldn't have done it without you. Mm -hmm. And new beginnings. To family and new beginnings. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ah. Oh my god, the alcohol. That's okay. I like you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I hope you enjoyed the food. Oh, I'm okay. I have a plan. I have something I want to. <laughs> no, no. Kissy! Hey, hey. Yes, sister. It's your mom. I'm always tired and sleeping these days. Please help me clear this place. I have a headache. I have a headache. Did you take something? Yes, I do. Thank you. What's the problem? I like you like this. No. Yes, I've very had way too much to drink. Yes. I've had way oh, yeah, now let me take too this much bit. to drink, darling. Thank <laughs> 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 Are you crying? No. What is it? You miss home. You miss home, right? Oh. Babe, I'm so sorry, huh? But don't you like it here? 
I really do. It's just that you don't let me go out. You see, I'm only trying to protect you from the bad things in this world. Huh? I understand. I really do understand. Sis, I want to ask you for a favor. Let's have it. I'll be glad if you say yes. Okay, so I want to do a get ready with me video and it's for the makeup that I bought for me. Do you mind? And also I want to go to my friend's house. Can you believe her? Honey, she's an individual. She's an adult. She has the right to choose what, what's important for her. Not just the things you wanted to do because you're unavailable because of your work. But I'm here now. I'm right here. Yes, you're here right now. But, but why, why do you keep mentioning work? Yeah, because you're here right now. As soon as your office calls right now, you drop everything, everything you do in this house, including tending to me, and you run back to your office. Uh, no, I don't understand. It's true. I don't understand. How are you trying to make me feel bad when you do exactly the same thing? I do not do the same things, baby. I understand the difference between family and work, and I stick with that. Fine. If you say so. Yeah, I say so. But question, please. Why are you championing Isi? I'm not championing Isi. Isi is your sister. She's a good girl. And it's about her being happy too. She's a human being. She told us that she wanted to do a makeup training. We ignored it. And fortunately, Ada has someone who wants a content creator for her makeup brand. So that's what she's doing now. Mm, I feel some type of way about this. Why would you go and speak to Ada to help my own sister that I brought to live with me? You already know your sister thinks the worst of me and this is just going to confirm it. Honey, you know what? I'm getting late for work. I need to go and take a shower and uh, get ready for work, okay? I don't want us arguing this morning. Besides, we had a fantastic night. I don't want to ruin everything by this argument, all right? Okay? Plus, Ada doesn't think the worst of you. She likes you. Yeah. And since you're not going to work today, um, enjoy your stay in bed moment, okay? Yeah, no work now. I have to stay home. Huh? I can't finish me. Huh? Easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sister. Please, I have a list of errands I need you to run. Hmm? Okay. When you finish, you can do all those your when we meet your videos. <laughs> really? Thank you. Yeah, let me rock your wigs. As if you are not rocking them already. You. <laughs> Please now help me. No problem. I'll okay. do that.
Hi, sis. I'm ready to leave. Okay. No problem. Thank you for making me do this. You're welcome. But I have a question for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where did you get these? Uh, I got it from your room. Um, I noticed you've not been wearing it, so I took it. And you didn't think it would be right to ask my permission? I'm sorry. This is a gift from my husband. I'm sorry. Oh, where did you get these? And so, when I went to the pharmacy, I saw it, so I decided to buy it to try it out. <laughs> hey! So try it out. Easy. Mm -hmm. Are you taking this? These are contraceptive pills. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Uh, sis, I don't. Is he the one who gave you this? No. It's your ma. Hey. It's your ma. It's your ma. You better tell the truth. Have you been messing around with men? Do you need anything? No. But I want to ask you some questions. Okay, what questions? Don't worry about that one yet. Before that, you go in there and do something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go in there, pee on this, and bring it back out to me. What's this, sister? My friend, will you stop asking me stupid questions? Go and do what I asked you to do. Okay. Now! Door open, thank you. <laughs> I'm not surprised with the way you've been adding weight. You are pregnant. Are you deaf? I said, who touched you? Which man is your ma? So you mean that with everything that I have been trying to protect you from, you still found a way to spread these legs? It's your ma! Who is responsible for this pregnancy? This is where you will stay. This is where you will stay. As long as you refuse to answer me, you will remain there on your knees. I'm just so disappointed. I, I really, really thought that you were one innocent, calm girl. I don't know say your eye don't tear finish. <laughs> what am I going to say to mommy and daddy about all of this? It's your ma. <laughs> Who is the man responsible for this? Don't talk, Abby. Oh, yeah, no, stay there. Stay there. Abby, is it that, that, that small boy that comes to see you when you are feeling it? <laughs> It's your ma. Is it that little, that, that boy that comes to see you in this house? <laughs> eh? Uh -uh. What has Is your ma done this time around? Welcome home, mom. No. This one is loud. This one is. Huh. What happened? It's very disappointing and very shameful. How does punishing her like this uh, change anything? Isioma has been fooling around with men when we leave her alone in this house. 
What? It's your mom. Is that true? Uh, shut up! Shut your dirty mouth! Of course it's true! If you're not fucking around, how else are you pregnant? Pregnant? <laughs> Sama, are you pregnant? It's true, see? I made her do one myself. So while we've not been around, Javi, you've been messing around with a man in this house. <laughs> Who is responsible for this pregnancy? Uh, honey, 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 hey, 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 look, uh, honey, <laughs> look, uh, I need you to calm down, okay? Hey, calm down, don't get yourself worked up over this. Um, do you remember that result I told you about? That one um, I said, uh, that very nice result? I just booked us a weekend at the result. <laughs> So, I want you to calm down. We will deal with this show my later on, all right? No, not now, no. Mm? I must get to the root of this particular problem. Honey, honey. Who is the man responsible? Hey, hey, hey honey. Eh? Honey. Who is the man responsible for this pregnancy? Honey, come on, come on. It's your mouth. It's, it's your food. You better open up your mouth and say who got you pregnant. Honey. Honey. I'm tired, I would give you a pretty hey, slap. No, hey, hey. what will hey. I tell my mother? No, we'll find a way to talk about it. We'll talk to you, Selma. Don't move from there. It's okay. Eh? Do not move from it's there. Fine. Let's... Until you are ready to talk, honey. it's your ma. Honey, honey. Don't move an inch. I swear. It's fine, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to react that way. I just don't understand how how Isiama got herself into this kind of predicament. It's okay, darling. I just don't want you stressing yourself out about this whole Isioma matter. What is done is already done. I mean, we just have to find a way to resolve it as well. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But I've been looking at pictures of this resort online. It looks very nice. Yeah, it's a very nice place. I just want us to take a break, you know, unwind. Even if it's just for the weekend, it's okay for me. We need it. Yeah, why are you looking at me like that? It's so thoughtful of you. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Thanks a lot to me. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Hmm. We didn't come here to work, did we? I'm sorry, I'll soon be done. Hmm? Say, I will soon be done. Stop. You know, you've been acting really weird. Lately. What's wrong? No, most the matter. Zama. What I'm about to tell you will come as a shock to you. What do you want to say? Look. I want a divorce. I can't do this anymore. Look, if this is about me quitting... No, it's not about that. 
<laughs> In fact, you should have done that a long time ago. Perhaps if you had quit your job at, or at least five, five, found some time, taken some time off for us, I wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. What mess? I, I, I don't think I understand. What mess? Look, look, it's too late, babe. I fucked up big time and there is no coming back from this. What did you do? I'm just trying to do the right thing. All right? For who? Right thing for who? For you? Talk to me. Is Yama? Is he? We're home. Welcome. Ah. Is it me you are greeting like that? Hey. <laughs> is he? Are you okay in the head right now? My friend, just go and carry my bags. Take them upstairs and come back here now. Go take it yourself. Hey? You say what? I said go take it yourself. I'm not your slave. It's your ma. Now me here to follow talk. Yes. Hey, Chris. Stop. Very hey, stupid. Hey, it's hey, your hey, mouth. Hey, hey. What is going on? Hey, hey what's, what's, what? Baby, if you hear how rudely this girl is speaking to me. So rudely. It's your ma, are you mad? What's giving you the audacity to talk to me like this? Hey, darling. You want to know okay. what gave me the audacity? I want to know. See, let me talk to this royal majesty here. What gave her slave the audacity to talk to her? Are you? Wait. What the hell is going on? I don't know. No, what's happening? Uh -huh. Uzoma, you want to know why I'm acting this way, right? Easy, can you shut up? Can you shut up? Here, I'm pregnant for your husband. What you failed to do? <laughs> hey, wait. Hey. See this girl, no? Uh -huh. You want to use my husband's name to play? Abby, it's joke to you. <laughs> hey! Honey, can you imagine? Uh, honey, um, Johnny, um... Eh? Uh, no. Yes, yeah, um, Yes, what? Okay, um, just calm down. Calm down. No, I'm saying, just, just, say just it breathe. like... Just breathe. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> what is you do? Honey, honey, just calm down. Hey. Oh my God! Hey. Jesus! <laughs> Can you just go inside? Please leave me. She needs to know. Go inside. Hey. 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 Uh, do you touch me? You broke our vows! Honey. With my sister! Honey, honey. It was a mistake. Uh, and I, I, look, it just happened. I, oh, God. You just left me. You, you, you were too busy for me. Busy with work and everything else, you, I, I don't know. I, I, was, I was always left with That's so my not an excuse. All right. No. Yeah. That's what I've not done. No. No. That's no. Baby, please now. Baby, please now. You have to stop talking these things and listen to me. Let's talk, darling. Baby, let's talk now. Talk about what? I just want you, you to. You impregnated my baby sister. Ah. Honey, honey, what, what you are doing now is even worse. Hey, if you pack out, you leave the house, eh? it won't be good for us now. What will people say? Now? This... For you or for me? Eh? See, I've left you. You can just indulge yourself with that slut downstairs that calls herself my sister. Honey, no, no, don't say that. Now, this thing, it was a mistake. It just happened. It's not like we planned it. Eh? Please understand. Don't call me, yo. Don't call me and don't look for me. Oh, honey, we can I talk need about my this. space. We can talk about this thing now. Look, we can solve it. I assure you, darling, we can solve this thing. Eh? It's two of us now. <laughs> the 
fact I'm carrying your husband's baby, something that you failed to do. You failed to do. <laughs> Now <laughs> 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 And I'm the knowing Uzo, she's probably safe in a hotel. Mm -hmm. I think you should let her cool off. What but, do you think? Yeah, I think I, I think so too. But uh, I'm sure I have to ask this, but I just thought to understand. Did you actually get the sister pregnant? It's not, it's Selma's fault. Hmm. She had a harmless crush on me and I took advantage of it. When she was pregnant, I knew it was wrong, but it was crazy, but I just couldn't let her have an abortion. I just couldn't. But are you sure it's your baby? Yes, it is my baby. She's always home. She goes nowhere. Uzama doesn't let her even leave the house. She's always locked up in the house. Well, the thing is, I, I must say, there's one thing you actually got right. It was not letting her take out the baby. Because if it actually is your seed, then you do need that baby. You know, but asking for a divorce is the wrong thing to do. I mean, Uzo works in PR. And if you pressure her for a divorce, she might spin this to a favor and sell it to that the would blogs. Be terrible. No, Uzuma won't do. She won't do that. She won't do a thing like that. I don't. I don't think she. She's capable of doing that. Hell hath no fury. Like a woman's con. Yes. Like a woman can see. Your sister is actually right. Your sister is right on the money. But I think if you handle this situation well, I mean, you can still come out of it. Could still be able to salvage something out of it, but you just have to be careful about the way you go up there. I don't know, just do something, do, do something. <sighs> Bro. Ozo. I know my brother has hurt you, but think about the love you guys share. You can throw that away. So now you believe I love him? Who's a what? What does it matter if I believe then or now? I mean, you make my brother a better person. And I cannot let you guys throw away what you shared because of what? Some silly mistakes? No. Silly mistake. And are you, your, your brother got my baby sister pregnant. Also, and you can now have the baby you have always wanted to have. Can't you see it? That's sick, Ada. I would never say, wait, what are you, what are you suggesting exactly? Can you listen to me first, please? You know, I met your baby sister at the dinner party. And I know she fit in staying in the UK or US or even Canada. So, she can have the baby and you and Inamdi can adopt the baby while she moves on with her life. Think about it. I should have known. 
I should have known as you carried your hand to call me today, sounding like a normal person, that you would have a wicked or very idiotic idea to contribute. Can you hear yourself? Uzo, can you calm down, please? No! Can you hear yourself? You are shouting. Yes! I will shout! Because I want the whole world to hear these sick ideas that you have. This is why I told Namdi to stop taking advice from you. Mm -mm. I warned him that this would ruin our marriage. Now you see it. Madam advisor, this is your advice. Uso, between God and man, all I have ever wanted in your marriage was good. When have I ever interfered in your marital issues? When? Every time. Ada, every time. Okay, you think, I, I don't know, that you were the one that suggested that he should look at getting a surrogate mother? You think I didn't see you? What you did at the party? Connecting the two so they should be dancing? Oh, so you were not there. You were not. You know what? You can blame everybody for all I care. But just know that it is also your fault. I mean, you brought a lady to your marital home. And what did you do? You neglected your husband to the extent of him finding comfort in another woman's hands. And you were expecting what? Talk to me. I don't know, Ada. Maybe I was expecting him to behave like an adult, to use his brain, and to not use his genitals. Maybe. And you don't think your sister was a temperess that frustrated him into temptation? You don't think so? Ada, you I'm, I'm not doing this with you. I'm not doing this back and forth with you. Can you leave? Excuse me? Yes, now. Please. Because I came here to sort through my emotions and, and to get some space from this situation. I should leave, Uzo. It's fine. But before I leave, just know that you should handle the situation well. And if you don't handle it well, you will not just be ruining your husband, but you will also drag your name into the mud. And guess what? The world will blame you for neglecting your husband and your home. And guess what? Even that position you have in your office might be taken away from you. And if you allow your sister to get away with what she wants, you will not only ruin your husband, you will ruin your marriage. I know this is a difficult situation for any woman to be in, but I need you to think with your head and not with your emotions. Excuse me. So she finally gave you a chance to speak to me. Just stop it, okay? <laughs> Just stop it. Easy luck.
Now is not a time for petite jealousy, okay? There's something serious I have to tell you. Would you like to relocate abroad and complete your education? <laughs> what will happen to my child? We will uh, adopt a child, um, raise the child as ours, and then you can be free to live your life, you know, just the way you want. What happened to Isi, I love you? What happened to Isi, I wish I met you before my wife? What happened to all the promises? Look, I need you to understand that what happened between us was a mistake. A mistake? You say a mistake? You didn't think about that before you touched me. You came on to me. You saw I was vulnerable and you seduced me. You did. Let's not make things worse than they are already. You see, you're not even ready to be a mother. You're not ready for motherhood. You even wanted to get rid of this pregnancy yourself. Well, I changed my mind. I'm keeping it. Yes, and nobody's separating the baby from the mom. So what are you going to tell your parents? Because you're not expecting me to tell them that a child is mine. Are you going to deny your child? You are giving me no option. What do you want me to do? Stand in front of your parents and tell them that I'm responsible for your pregnancy? They will think I'm a monster. Are you not? A man who plots with his wife to steal a baby from the mom is a monster. I wish I never came to this house. I wish I never fell in love with you. <sighs> now, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? Myself. I'm not hungry. Honey, I know you're so angry about what happened. Honey, like Ada said, let us not let this silly mistake of mine just ruin everything we've built. But you also have a share in the blame. I mean, I begged you, I begged you for months. Let's start our family like we planned to. But you didn't want that. You thought that being a partner in your company was more important than us starting your family. That gives you no right. None at all. She's 19 years old. She's a baby. <laughs> what am I going to say to my mom or my father? This yeah. thing is going to just tear the whole family apart. You don't have to say anything to them. We could talk to Isi. You know, talk to Isi and see if we can keep it quiet. Have a plan like we, we're planning to. And everything will just... With that demon, I don't want to see that demon's face. That one was sent to my home to destroy my marriage. Did she tell you to ask me for a divorce? Tell me the truth. Did she tell you to ask me for a divorce? 
Ja. How long have you known about the pregnancy? A while now. I mean, I... I couldn't tell you. I mean, I, I didn't want to upset you. You were fighting for being a partner. You were working so hard. I just... I just couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell me. But you wanted her baby. Honey, you know I have always wanted to have a child. But when I found out, I was scared. I'd, I didn't know what to do because of you, because of how much I love you. And I, I just didn't want to hurt you. I knew this would have destroyed you. So I was trying to just hold it together. I'm sorry too. And I blame myself for all of this. Maybe if I wasn't so preoccupied, I would have seen all these things right underneath my nose. If I could turn back the hands of time, I wouldn't bring Izzy here. Maybe things would have been different. I wish you never came here too. I wish you never came to this house. So this happened and you didn't care to let me know. So much for our friendship. So this is the reason why you kept on ignoring me all through. My calls, my texts, you couldn't reply to none of them. Justin, I'm sorry. A lot has been happening and I don't even know how to relate it to someone else. Hmm. This is the sole reason why you should let me know. I mean, this is a period where you need, really need someone to talk to. Anyways, what are they saying about it? Well, they want me to give up the child and travel abroad. Like, for me to just give up every single thing. You know what? On the other hand of it, I think you should give in to the offer. Yeah, you go abroad, have a new life. Uh -huh. Besides, motherhood is not being so. Are you sure you're ready for it? No, I'm not even asking you. Of course, you're not even ready for it. Justin, you don't understand. I'm in love with this guy. Oh like, he's the only guy I've been with. He's sweet, he's caring. See, he's even handsome and rich. I can't give it up. I don't care about whatever my sister thinks. And mind you, it's her business. She does not deserve him. Isioma, think about it. This isn't right in anywhere in any planet. No. Oh, for crying out loud, this is your sister's lawfully wedded husband. And with the way you speak about her, I don't even think she's ready to leave her husband for you. Think mm -hmm. about it. By the time I'm done with them, they won't have a choice. You must be feeling very wise right now. You think I don't know your plan of you taking away my child to claim it's yours? <sighs> Isioma, are you well like this? You should be asking yourself that. Ever since you brought me to this house, all you have done was to enslave me. At a point you threatened to beat me up. But regardless, I was still respectful because you're my sister. Ah, at this time around I will fight you fire for fire. If you try anything, if you try anything, you will have to kill me first before you take this child away from me. You barren, wicked witch. What is going on here? I was telling you a piece of my mind. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm okay. But I have to tell you both that if anything happens to my child, if you try to take my child away from me... How dare you speak to us in this disrespectful manner? 
What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. But if you both try to take my child away from me, I will take this story to the blogs and we expose you all and ensure that you get destroyed. Frankie, you get out of here! Get out of here before I lose my temper! My darling, I'm not going anywhere. As the mother of the unborn child of Namdi, I deserve to live in this house and I, that is my right, okay? You can't do anything. Just stop talking. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Go inside, all right? No. See, you have to give him that divorce, okay? Hey. Hey, he doesn't love you. Go inside. It doesn't. Let's go, go. Leave me alone. Go inside. <laughs> honey, honey. Don't hurt me. Honey. Don't. Hey, hey. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> honey. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't understand, ECO. How could EC go from being so pleasant to this? What the change? Uh, well, since she started sharing my husband, what do you expect? You know, this is it's it's so crazy because. This girl was practically born in my arms. I raised her. I paid for her education, her fees. I provided for her needs. Brought her into my home and this is how she repays me? Honey, uh, what are we going to do now? Hmm? Eh? What, are, what are we going to do? We. Mm -hmm. You are the one getting people pregnant to now. Honey, honey. I know I've wronged you. I know I've wronged you much. But I need you. You can't leave me now. Honey, I need you for us to stand together. Like a team to fight this. Because we don't. What if your bosses hear about this? Huh? That's why I need you for us to be united right now and fight together because I know together we can move forward with strength. Honey. Yeah, you broke. You completely shattered our trust. And that may take some time to build back up, but I think you may be right. We can't let Issy come in and destroy the home that we've spent so many years building. Exactly. No. Honey, but she, she's threatening to tell your parents. So when news gets out about this now, mm -mm. we'll be messed up all. They won't believe her over me. What are you going to tell them? Uh, what will I tell them now? She's been fooling around with boys and that's how she got pregnant. Uh, what, what if she calls my name? I would deny it. You two, deny it. It will be her word against mine. But I've also been sending her text messages. Honey, I was lonely. I needed somebody to talk to. You were not available for me. Huh? Fine. I'll go and talk to her and I'll take her phone and delete everything. And then it will be her word against mine. Thank you. Thank you for standing by me. I made a big mistake. I, I shouldn't have. And I'm sorry I hurt you like this. Honey, I will make it up to you. I promise you, I will make it up to you. Huh? I got I will make it up to you, I swear, babe. Hmm? Hmm? You know, to 
say I am disappointed in you would be an understatement. I had no idea that you want to be this little green snake to enter my home and destroy it, sleeping with my husband behind my back. You never appreciated it. Shut up, idiot, before I give you dirty slap. What's your own? What is your business? I feed you, I clothe you, I educate you, and this is how you repay me? Eh? So where are you going to now? Hmm? To Badagri. With this load, this bump you are carrying, you will take it back. You are not even considering the public humiliation or the disgrace that you will bring to this whole family with this thing that you want to do. Hmm? Your child can't even be proud. They can't even claim their parents. How do you want to explain to him or her that their father is your sister's husband? You little slut, just opened your legs. Why? Why for him? <laughs> Don't you know men will say anything to get what they want? And have you even considered daddy? Have you thought about our father? Christina, what do you want to tell him? This is an abomination. You will be cast out. You will be thrown out and discarded. So that's it now. No education. No money. No job. Bitch, you will be under the bridge homeless. Sleeping at night. And those area boys will come and do unspeakable things to your body. But you might actually like it. But you really thought that you would replace me, is your ma, in my home. <laughs> You want to be me. You want to wear my shoes. You want to be fucking my husband in my house. You are very, very crazy. You better just calm down and start to think about the options that my husband has provided for you. Very generous options. You can go to the UK or the US, and you can't, you can't start afresh and leave the baby with us. I will look after the child like it is my own. But you must keep your mouth shut and you cannot say anything. It's your ma. A word is enough for the wise, is your ma. <laughs> hey. Hey, Sue, before I forget, bring your phone. No. Bring your phone. Phone I used my money to buy while you were fucking my husband behind my back. My friend, give me my phone. It's my property. Give me. <laughs> See what I see. I'm finished. I'm 
unfinished. Are you expecting me to ask you to step aside? Is your mind? I know a lot has happened to you in this short time. But I want to encourage you to put it behind you. I'm only trying to help. <laughs> By trying to steal my unborn child. I said, I'm only trying to help you. I love him. He's so sweet and caring, but you don't even love him. That's not true. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, you're not in love. It's just an infatuation. You see, you have your whole life ahead of you and many opportunities to fall in love again. No, I don't want someone else. Well, you can't have him. He's my husband and I love him. And if you truly love him, then why do you deny him the chance of happiness? How dare you, like... Isiama, Isi, Isi, Nandi! Isiama! What? Oh what happened? There's no baby. What? You had an accident at my place and it was bad. Oh. It was really bad. What? Yes, your sister is actually saying the truth. Oh. And Phil, Just go. thank God she and her husband were around to bring you here. No! You will be fine. No! It's okay, but calm down. No! Sorry, it's okay. Calm down. It's okay. Sorry. Calm down. Just don't stress. Sorry. She needs some rest, enough rest. Of course. All right. Of course. Look. Uh, I know I've asked this before, but... My conscience won't 
Just let me rest. Are you sure it was an accident? Do you think I, I pushed her so she can crack her head on the sink or something? What kind of question is that? I'm not saying you did. But I'm just trying to replay the entire event in my head. I'm rethinking everything. Rethink what? Look, Isioma is my baby sister. And I may be very angry with her, but I would never try and kill her or hurt her. Let's just wait and see the doctor. It is not a sort of a miracle that we're able to save the mother at a very short, that nick of time. I'm so sorry about the baby. Uh, the trauma to her head was quite severe. We're even lucky she's alive. So in cases like this, the patients usually encounter major memory loss. And in some cases, um, the shock to her head was quite severe because she fell with the back of her head. Wait, are you saying that she lost her memory? Not quite so, sir. Only she knows what she can remember now. So um, there's 50-50 chance that she, that she can still recover from this shock and regain her memory. So I would advise one thing, that you always keep her around her family and her loved ones. That will help weaken her recovery. In my sister's case, that may not be such a good idea, Doctor. She was... She was raped and got pregnant. She's gone through so much trauma. Yes, Doctor. Um, um, my wife and I, we are doing everything possible to make sure that she relocates, you know, abroad to start afresh so she can uh, put behind her all the terrible memories. Um, okay, that's a good idea. But um, in the meantime, I'd advise that you keep her close so as to monitor her recovery process, okay? Yeah, we, we, we will. Um, I don't know, but we could organize uh, a um, family get-together okay. or something so that she could pick out faces. Maybe she'll remember people again. Okay, that's also a good idea. Mm. We'll also, from our own end, we'll carry on with um, our medication and also with therapy sessions that will help weaken her recovery. Okay? All right, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much, Doctor. We appreciate everything you've done to help. Ah, thank you. Happy to recover. No! No! Give me my baby! No! Don't take her away, please! Give me my baby! to me.